Hey everyone, so in this video, we're gonna talk about adjusting event sensitivity for a bass track, for instance, when you're using Elastic Audio, and also about changing pitch with Elastic Audio. So it should be fun. All right, off we go. So previously, we looked at a bass track and there were far too many transients detected because the algorithm that Pro Tools uses to find all those events, those rhythmic events, is just so sensitive that often you get erroneous markers in there. So we have, for instance, one bass note here. So one bass note there. But I see two event markers on it. And also here, this one, that's two notes. Yeah, that's two notes, but it's showing one, two, three, four event markers. This one too looks like there's too many. This one also has too many. So rather than going through and deleting the event markers that aren't necessary, that aren't real rhythmic events, uh, we can just adjust a little bit the sensitivity. So I'm gonna go to waveform and select the clip real quick. And that will allow me to bring up the elastic properties window. So to get to that, you can right click and then choose elastic properties. You can also go to clip and elastic properties too. So once that elastic properties window is open, we can go into analysis view just so we can see what's happening while we make an adjustment. So it only takes a couple of points to get rid of all these extras on the base. We can try say an event sensitivity of maybe 98%. And if I hit enter on that, that pretty much did it. So that's a big help to Pro Tools when you need to then do kind of automatic time change things like conform to tempo. And by the way, I kept right clicking on this guy to make it conform to the tempo, right? In one of those previous videos. And it kept shrinking my audio up, right? And I kept going, why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? Well, the reason is, is this bass line is a two over three on it's it's in a polyrhythm i didn't even realize it i just played it and uh but if you listen to the click so let me turn up the click just a tiny bit the clicks in threes right this is in like a six eight one two three one two three one two three but the bass line is doing two notes over each three clicks so two over three right so it's kind of doing like a duplet over the click so of course it's going to try and figure out how to line it up to the click because the baseline isn't with the click deliberately. The baseline is a polyrhythm on top of the click. So that's why it kept not working for me, but you can hear it here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But then the bass is doing two notes per every three. One and two. And then every once in a while it does the triplet right with the click. So no wonder Pro Tools couldn't conform this to tempo. But when you have something that actually fits the grid and you right click and go conform to tempo, the whatever instrument you have there should then adjust to the right tempo. And then a triplet here. And then that one is all triplets, so that should be able to conform to the tempo. Yeah, so I think it was trying to turn these into eighth notes, which would speed them up, right? Because it's seeing all these attacks, and it's like, wait, there's six beats and there's four attacks in there? Those are probably supposed to be eighth notes or something. And so it's trying to uh, push them into, so it fits six in the time of these four, right? Because of the polyrhythm. So anyway, my mystery is solved. I feel much better. Anyway, so... We've adjusted this so now that we could, if we wanted to, quantize this, right? So say that we did have this in four and we wanted to just play with it in four. So now it's in four, four, right? And you can see that this bass line really doesn't fit with four. So what if we wanted to slow this down or speed this up so that it fits in four? Let's see if we can quantize it to that. What we want to try and do is go event, 
event operations quantize and that'll bring up that window and then we're going to try and put it on the quarter note and see what we get and <laughs> okay so that's at least fitting in it's attempted to make some notes long and some notes short so let's see what our analysis did so we just created a 4-4 meter by quantizing this bass track but everything's clearly on a click now so that's another kind of fun creative tool that you can use and the real trick for getting a good quantization from this guy is to make sure that the event markers that you see are accurate so you want to make sure that you've set the sensitivity right so that all your event markers are actually hitting rhythmic places in that baseline right so the baseline needs it needs to actually make sure that those lines are hitting actual rhythmic things inside the baseline and not extra event markers inside each note that will then try and get pushed onto one part of the grid or the other uh, just to look at this, let's check the event sensitivity on this guy too. And I'm going to put Elastic Audio on. And then if I look at our analysis of something that has less clear transients, this is the other time when you need to go through and look and make sure that you're getting event markers at the right times. So violins and things that don't have very strong attacks will need something like this so that it can then quantize correctly. So let's try this. Uh, so there should be one here. So what you can do is just go through and put them in where it missed them because it didn't have a strong enough attack transient. So there's one there. So we can add one there. I'm gonna grab my grabber and just put one in. So we're telling Pro Tools, hey, there's a rhythmic thing there. And there shouldn't be one there, because that was a single note. And there's one, th needs to be one there. So basically we teach Pro Tools where the rhythmic things are. And was there not one? And one here. So I'm holding down Control, I think it's Start on a Windows machine to put in a couple of these. Once we've edited it, we can conform to tempo if we want to, we can quantize it if we want to. And the other thing we might want to do is change the pitch. So let's try that. So you can kind of do like a quick and dirty harmony part on a vocal, stuff like that. So let's try it and see what we get. I'm gonna keep it in polyphonic. Monophonic will not do uh, pitch changes, just so you know. Okay, first thing to do is Elastic Properties. So right click and choose Elastic Properties. Or you can get it from the menu. Clip, Elastic Properties. And then you will see at the bottom, Pitch Shift. So you can go up to two octaves in either direction. And so semitones are half steps, right? So there's 12 of those per octave. So you can go plus or minus 24. So first thing we do is let's just see what this sounds like super deep, maybe. Okay, let's try it. Let's go negative 12, so down an octave. All right, that's kind of fun. Let's go even farther. Let's go as low as it'll let us. Negative 24, two octaves down. That's kind of fun, and let's go up higher an octave too. Cool, that's kind of fun. So, one thing that you can do with this is you can transpose these things, but keep the original. So what I'm gonna do is make another track, a new stereo audio track, same channel width as this one, right there. And I'm going to grab this and option click it down here so that I have a copy of it. Then what I'm gonna do is turn Elastic Audio on here. And here's my original, here's the new one. So right now it's just two of the same thing. And what we're going to do is put this one up, say, a third. 
So that's usually four semitones. That would be a major third up. And let's see what we get. <laughs> So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You can see how it could potentially give you uh, a very quick harmony part as long as you know which notes you want to get to. And you can do that with elastic properties. The other way to do it is say that you wanted to bring a whole mix up a little bit at the end, like a whole chorus or something, and you had MIDI and audio in there together. So what you can do is grab all the audio data, no rhythmic because you don't need to transpose drums. And then what you can do is we're pretending like there's MIDI data in here, even though there isn't, this is all regular audio at the moment. So we want to separate out all the clips and then let's just pretend. going to grab all those clips and separate them out. Remember, you can do that with Command E or Edit, Separate Clip at Selection is where I just did it. So we're going to go to Event and then Event Operations and Transpose. And since Elastic Audio is on on all of these at the moment, oh, it's not. Let me fix that one. And is that one good? Yes. Okay, so I've got Elastic Audio on all of these now. And then we're just going to transpose by, say, a, a whole step, like pretty common for like old school, you know, 60s Motown tunes at the end, do that all the time, go up a whole step. So we're just going to let it uh, transpose all of this stuff up a whole step without changing the tempo, uh, just to see what it sounds like. Here's the original. And then let's bring it up a, a whole step. Ready? And it actually does a really good job of it, right? I mean, you hardly even notice uh, that it's doing any processing at all to get it there. So you can do this as many times as you want, experiment as much as you want. None of this is destructive. You will not get any degradation of your audio because the elastic audio processing is always happening to the original audio file. So you can just play around, be as creative as you like. So again, that's in the transpose window. And if you, the only reason to use the transpose window over the elastic properties is that the transpose window will also affect all the MIDI, whereas the elastic properties will only get your elastic audio files. So you can do this guy and do it on an entire mix and just see, hey, I want the last chorus to be up, you know, a whole step or whatever you want to do. So pretty fun that. Okay, that's it for Elastic Audio for now. All right, hope that was fun. See you in the next one.